Good afternoon, and welcome to Carlisle Barracks and the United States Army War College's graduation ceremony honoring deploying members of the resident class of 2016. Ladies and gentlemen, the Provost of the United States Army War College, Dr. Lance Beatros. So Lee, Mark, and Lance, congratulations. Well done to all of you. You've been thoroughly tested and found worthy of the moniker U.S. Army War College graduate. Congratulations. That's great. And we're very proud of all of you. Everyone in here, your classmates, family members, and all, very, very proud of you. It was almost 10 months ago we welcomed you and your, classmate to the Army, your classmates to the Army War College, and we challenged you to change your way of thinking. Specifically, we encouraged you to recognize that the qualities that made you successful at the tactical and operational levels were not necessarily the qualities that would bring success at the strategic level. In short, you needed to develop a new skill set, or at least refine those skills for the strategic level. So the rigors of the academic program and the readings, discussions, the debates and seminar, the trips, the many hours spent in Bliss Hall are all behind you. And whether or not you realize it, you've made a transformation from a seasoned tactical leader to someone who can step up and provide sound advice to the most senior strategic leaders. The jobs you get from here forward will demand that you think on a higher plane. Think at the strategic level. And you must be ready for the ambiguous, wicked problems that tend to reside in those circles. So I'm confident that you have the intellectual skills to deal with that kind of a world. You're going to be asked very soon to jump right into that complex world as you head overseas. And I'm confident you'll be able to be valuable members on those teams. Now look, I'm the Chief Academic Officer, so I'm going to offer a few gratuitous tips from your, the, the senior faculty member here at the War College. First, don't stop learning. Lifelong learning is so important, and it's going to be very hard for you to carve out time to do that because you're going to be dealing with so many 50-meter targets that it's going to be difficult, but really try to do it. Um, creativity and innovation depend on a commitment to lifelong learning, so don't let the learning stop after you leave here. And second, exercise intellectual humility. Recognize that none of us always have the right answers and that assumptions may not be right. So challenge those assumptions, be skeptical of received wisdom, and leverage the wisdom of others all the time. You can only benefit from their, uh, um, their intellectual insights as well. And finally, take care of yourself, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. You'll bear great burdens and your decisions will affect lives. Be ready to be present and sharp when called upon. So that's all. Good luck to you. You're now part of the Army War College graduate community, and I hope you'll stay close to this institution for many, many years to come. So congratulations again to all of you. At this time, class of 2016 diplomas are conferred under the authority of the United States Congress. In recognition of their accomplishments, the graduates will receive the Diploma of the United States Army War College and the degree of Master of Strategic Studies. Graduates will be presented diplomas by Dr. Richard Lockemann, Dean of School of Strategic Land Power, Dr. Lance Petros, Provost of the, U of the Army War College, and Major General William E. Rapp, Commandant. Colonel Robert McGee, Seminar 23, also a distinguished graduate of the 2016 resident class. <laughs> Colonel Mark Purdy, Seminar 19.
and Colonel Lance Varney, Seminar 11, also a distinguished graduate of the 2016 resident class. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating the most recent graduates of the United States Army War College. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the graduation ceremony. <laughs> Fastest Army ceremony ever. Please feel free to remain in the auditorium and utilize the stage for additional photos. Thank you for attending and congratulations and best wishes to our graduates. Yeah.